Hello, good evening. Let me just get a get a, a minute here. I'm not sure um, if anybody will join this evening because this is kind of a, a restart of me going live. But um, if not, we people will be able to see it on the replay. Hello, welcome. And I'm trying to catch it on my computer to make sure that's broadcasting fine. So welcome everybody that's uh, joining. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Hey, Sheila. I'm trying to find my live, but I don't see it. Okay. So we will not, hello, I, I can't see who else is here, but thank you very much for being here. Um, so hopefully I it will pop up on my computer here and I'll be able to see it soon while I'm broadcasting. So tonight um, I wanted to share a few Halloween things with you. I had something very exciting to show, but... Um, I've misplaced it. That is so me. That is so, so me. But we're going to have fun anyway um, with what I'm going to show you. So let me get situated here and then we will turn the camera around and you can stamp along as I'm going. So it's hard to believe it's Thursday already. Uh, this week has gone by so quick. Okay, let me go ahead and switch my camera. So, I get adjusted here, bring down my little, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my phone in the slot and we'll see how this works. Okay, you can see my page, very good. Now it's just a matter of getting it in the slot without hanging up on people. There we go. Okay, here we are once again. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone in the... I actually think I disconnected myself by trying to do the phone. I'm so coordinated. Um... why my phone is not there it is okay if anybody in my audience knows how to do this much more smoothly than I do please I need you okay it looks small on my screen is it small on your screen I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Sheila, does that look like it's in the right? You can see my screen. If you can give me a thumbs up, that would be great. Anybody? Okay, good, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the... What I wanted to come back to and show you was this stamp set, uh, Tricks and Treats, um, and the dies that go along with it because I've made some cute things that I think you um, may be interested in. So in this stamp set, um, or in, this, in the bundle actually, comes some dies. Um, so I put mine on some magnetic sheets just to kind of keep track of them a little bit easier um, but we've got the dies that are matching your you know some of the stamps that you've got here which is wonderful um, this little triangle with the pieces those you coordinate in different colors 
and that will make a little candy corn piece, which is so adorable. So that card, I believe I've shown you guys before, but we've also got some tags included and a ghost and a little um, haunted house that matches the stamp. So lots of fun things here that we can play with. What we're going to do tonight is two things. I'm going to do use the, this little die cut is meant to create a treat packet. So I wanted to show that um, for you for you and then we'll do a card real quick. So let me just put this aside real quick and get my goodies out. <clears throat> Through the magic of television, I've got some of it pre-prepared. Um, so for this little die, you are gonna need a whole piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. So what I did was I cut my eight and a half in half eight and a half by 11 and a half. And that's how I went ahead and scored or cut out my two halves of my box. Okay. So this is what we're going to start with. It's just two halves of a box. And I love that this box, it already has the seams on it. So it's already telling you where the folds need to go, which makes it so, so easy. Um, before I put it together though, I want to do a little stamping. So let me get that prepared. I want to go ahead and use the, there's some little, there's cute little pieces in here that you can use to make a background. So for instance, the bats or the stars, you can go ahead and put on here. I think we'll go ahead and use the bats on this one since I've used the stars before. Uh, here they are. Um, so we'll go ahead and line that up. Are y'all sipping on anything tasty tonight as you're watching? I just have water, nothing exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna use those bats with Memento ink, the Memento black ink. Okay, and this is the top of the box. So I just want to do it, though, in a random fashion um, to make sure it gets all over the box, including the bottom. I'm not really sure. I don't remember when I put the last boxes together, what por which portions, uh, you know, stand out or are available to see as you're putting the box together. So I'm just going to make sure that it's all over the place. And, of course, we want to do both uh Hemispheres of the box. Let's switch this around since this is the top. And I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of all over the place. Easy peasy. I'm excited to just to share a card with you um, because. Even though this particular stamp set, I did purchase for, you know, for the box. <laughs> that was the main thing that I wanted out of it. Um, of course, you can make um, cards to go along with it. And if you haven't used this, I'm telling you, this is, it's just, it's called a chamois. Um, so search for it and, um, under chamois. It is so helpful to just clean your stamps so easy and just be ready to go. Okay, so we are just about ready to put the box together. And as I mentioned, it already has your scores, the score marks ready to go. So I'm just going to get the get those ready, pull them in. And you are going to want to put use either the stamp and seal plus, which we're going to use um, the tape, or you'll want to use um, the actual tape that we have that is meant for 3D projects. So the difference between this and the regular um, stamp and seal is that this is meant, it's, it's stronger uh, tape that is meant for, for 3D, 3D projects that will hold things together better, stronger. So what I'm going to do is on this little label here, I'm going to go ahead and start 
uh, with my adhesive and it goes on smooth um, just like the regular tape does. You can kind of see though it has ridges in the tape um, that makes it easier or makes it stronger in the hold. So <clears throat> I think what I also want to do is just start putting some of the box together. It's all this is always a fun treat to uh, you know do it as people are watching you. But this should be pretty easy. I'm going to try to hold it up to the camera so you can see. Okay. And then I don't want to necessarily uh, get that on the paper, but let's do the same thing on the other side. So I want to put in that one little tab for the bottom. There we go. And we will go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, tape this side too. Probably went a little bit over there, but we can live with that. Okay, so you basically have two different side, sides of the box that you're going to put together. So <clears throat> you will want to make sure that you have tape on the bottom as well so the bottom holds together. So that would probably have, would have been smart to do, I guess, on one of the labels before I put it together. But actually, I think this will be good, too, because we're actually going to sit one inside of the other. This little tab here and this little tab here are going to go in the inside. Oops, so let me face it up here so you can see. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of squaring the edges. There we go. Coming over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Square the edges before I tape it down. And I've got that tape on the inside. So we're good. Now I'm just kind of pushing the bottom. So we've got everything lined up. Okay, so that is just the basics of the box. Now we want to kind of add some zhush to it. We've got to, we got to zhush it up a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do, um, let's go back to our little kit here. Um, I also went ahead and started to punch out some of these shapes. So we've got the trick or treat stamp here. And that works beautifully with a piece that I don't see. Um, it's a little tag. Let me show you. I don't see it here. It's probably on my desk somewhere. But this little tag, your, your trick or treat will fit on there. And then also we have the boo. So I've die cut out some boo. I've got boo in some different colors. And then we've got our little faces for our little, um, what's it called? <laughs> Herman Munster, or, and then the little boy, or is this Frankenstein? You tell me. So we'll, we'll use these two, um, these two that go with it, just to add a little, little just to this box, okay? So I've already pre-cut them out, but we do need to have the stamps that go with it. Okay, so I want my trick or treat. We were talking about this at, at a class on Saturday and we were talking about this thing, about making sure that you have the right size block for your for your stamp and why it makes a difference. So it really does make a difference because depending on the stamp that you're using, um, sometimes you can get some ink on other places around the stamp and then it will, you don't see it before you stamp it down and then it'll, you know, make a, a smudge mark on your project. So it's really, it is important actually to use the correct stamp. So we've got, um, we've got the little Herman Munster here. So I'm going to take that off real quick and we'll put him on here. Actually, 
Is that going to be big enough? I don't think that's big enough. There we go. Ink this up. And, you know, I am going, I'm sorry if I'm leaning into the camera, but I want to make sure I get it at least on the paper. Yeah, this looks more like a Frankenstein than, than, um, than a Herman Munster, but it's a cute little Frankenstein. Oh, I think I remembered the little boy's name, Eddie, from the Munsters. Do you guys remember that show? It may have been cuter if I put these uh, pieces in different colors. I've got to give him his little hair cut here. That's so cute. <laughs> so adorable. And then we need to come back with a face. So what do we have here for a face? Oh, here we go. You could also use this little face as a pumpkin. I'm gonna do this purpose purposely, not quite, oh, it came out center. I was gonna try to do it a little awkward to make them look a little awkward, but that's cute too. Okay. So we've got our little, our little dudes all stamped out. Let's put this black away before I put any more of it on my fingers. So we've got our little dudes, we've got a trick or treat, and another thing I have um, here, of course, are the booze that I've mentioned before. So let's go ahead and use a boo in a different color. Let's do the orange. And what, you know what, oh, I should have done, I should have stamped or die cut this out with using the adhesive back paper. That would have been a little bit more smooth uh, to the project. So I'm gonna get some dimensionals here with my little box. And we'll put the trick-or-treat on, have that pop up a little bit. Hey, if you're visiting uh, today, tonight, watching, I hope you'll uh, say hello in the comments. Um, I love to uh, greet everybody. And if you have any questions, of course, you can ask in the comments. Um, you're also welcome to um, send me a little message if you if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to talk in front of everybody, but we're all friends here. Um, so this little set is available from the, um, from the September through December mini catalog. So if you're needing that mini catalog, you can find it online at my, at my website, which is southerncreations.stampinup.net. Or you can um, just let me know and I can shoot one in the mail to you. I'm happy to do that. Just let me know you need it. Yeah, I think what, that would have been cute to have this on a different color box, but we're going to go with what we got for now. And we're going to put our little boo here. And then I've got a couple things to share with you. Uh, share with you. The one thing that I couldn't find that I wanted to show for this class it's in this room that is messy at this moment, um, but it's so adorable. I'm using this heavy duty tape, which you don't need to on this little boo, but oops, actually I've got a lot on there. Let me use my pick tool to kind of get, gear that back a little bit. Okay, so there is a cute little box, easy peasy. It stands up on its, uh, on its own, which is wonderful for treats. 
So let me show you what I wanted to share tonight that I didn't get. So here's another little box that I made, um, made with the little ghost die cut. But if you'll notice, um, there are in the dies, here's one that I haven't, haven't worked on yet. This is just in white, but I wanted to show you the, um, the glow in the dark paper. So this is a, a ghost that I did in white. And as you can see, it has little holes where the mouth and, um, and eyes are. And let me see if it will work. If you can see it by me just sh uh, shutting off this light, but it actually glows in the dark. I think, I don't know if I'm too close or not. If you see, but it is so adorable. It actually glows in the dark. Um, and that's the piece that I could could not find. I can't find the glow in the glow in the dark paper. It's just six by six paper, but it is so cute. And you could get a lot in the pack, so you can create um, some cute little projects. So let's move on to the next thing. I wanted to show a quick and easy card, also. I'm going to open up um, a brand new p pack of paper so we can use gorgeous grape. I think grape, granny, apple green, pumpkin pie, these are all great colors for the Halloween season. And this was actually, um, I guess, something that a lot of people didn't know about or, you know, kind of forget about is our great paper cutter. Um, so I see that I'm still recording, but on my screen it's frozen. I hope that you're seeing what I'm, what I'm working on. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to refresh my screen. Okay. Yep. You should be able to see me now if you weren't able to see me before. Okay. So I took an eight and a half by 11 that I've cut in half by using our great paper cutter. The paper cutter does come with um, a cutting blade, but also uh, a scoring blade, which makes life so easy. Um, so I am going to take this mm -hmm. eight and a half by 11 um, to the four and a quarter with my scoring blade. And that makes a great card base. So this is what we've got so far. And with my scoring tool, just gonna burnish the sides to make a nice crisp edge, okay? A couple of other things that I want to use as well. Um, another great color that, not only for Halloween, but is a great, um, it's a great coordinating color because black goes with everything. It's a neutral color, um, so it does go with everything. So I'm gonna cut a black background. And my, my um, I'm gonna do it a quarter of an inch smaller than my card size. So I've got it at four and then it was five and a quarter instead of five and a half. Oops. And just narrowing it down by a quarter on each side makes a great base. And then we're gonna come back again with some purple to go on top of that. And this time we'll want to do five and then I move my piece of paper so I'm just trimming that a little bit and then we'll want to do three and three quarters. 
So just narrowing it down by a quarter of an inch each time. And that's how we're getting nice layers that are even. So I don't know why my screen is freezing. Um, if somebody in the com um, that's watching live, if they wouldn't mind just letting me know if you're seeing it live or if something is happening on your end as well. Okay, so here we've got our base. The next thing that I want to do is pull out uh, one of the tags that we created. So I have got um, a trick or treat tag that I've um, that I've actually I think I'm going to do that other this I think I'm going to do a trick or treat tag which I need to take my backing off. This is one that I didn't want to use before in another project. So we're going to do that. And then I also want the little ghosts that we were just working with. Okay, good. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. What would I do without you tonight, Sheila? Okay, so we are going to get our trick or treat out again one more time. This block should fit. And we are going to put it on our tag again. When you guys do this, do you stamp it ahead of time? And then cut the cut it out, or do you cut your your label out and then do it? Um, I'm curious to know. Okay, I noticed that I've got a little black smudge on one, and the other one isn't real neat, so we might have to cut those little ghosts out again. As I'm stamping here, I see, I hear my little assistants in the room. So uh, Gus Gus is in the room. So if he comes over closer, uh, while I'm on, while I'm on with you, um, well, I will show him on screen tonight, since some of you have been asking. Okay, I think we're going to stick with what we got. So I don't want to take too much of your time. The last thing that I want to do is our card base is a dark color, which it is fine. You can write in there with a black ink. Um, but I also thought maybe it would be nice to put mm -hmm. some white in there um, to make it a little bit more easy um, on the eyes. So I'm going to get some just regular white mm -hmm. cardstock. And I want to I'm gonna cut this to the five oops, the five and a quarter by four. And that should be a nice size for the inside of my card. And while I'm at it, I don't know about you, but I love getting a decorated envelope in the mail um, because it shows that something awesome is coming um, inside there. So let's go ahead and decorate our pieces um, while, we're, while we're at it. So for that, I think I want to take um, this little scene here with the tombstones and the rest in peace, and we will uh, use that. Here. And of course, we'll stay consistent with our uh, black theme, black and white theme here. Okay, so this is for the inside of my card. So I am going to just do this 
um, the little tombstones across the bottom. I don't even care if they're straight or not. That adds to the decoration. And then on my envelopes, which are also from Stampin' Up, um, they match beautifully and are the perfect size for this, this size card. I'm going to do the same thing on my tab here. laughing at myself. Uh, maybe this isn't um, the best tab to put on the outside of the envelope. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what we've got. Okay, so let's put it all together. Um, let's see. I'm using old school tape tonight. Um, so let's put that in the inside of our card. And that's perfect, perfect size. Look at that, and the way we stamped it makes it look as though you've stamped it from a pre-printed um, piece of paper, that your own designer series paper, I love that. All right, and now let's do our layers. So we'll put our purple on top of this black. And then we'll layer this on top of the purple base. Oops. So cute. Okay. This now this idea was uh, taken from a friend, another demonstrator that I just adore, um, up in Michigan. So I'm, I've stolen this idea. It would have looked much, much cuter with a ghost that <laughs> that stands out. Darn it, but I can't find it. I'm going to come back with this little piece of um, tape and I'm kind of cutting off just a little bit. So I could have dry fit these. That would probably would have been smart. And Again, I just want a couple little pieces that I can put by their foreheads um, so that it's equal and it'll be stable. One last one. I think I need to trim this one down a little bit. Let's see. Nope, that works. Okay. So this one, I do want to raise my, my trick or treat. But I also want to stick my little ghost behind here, which I think will be cute. So I'm going to add a little bit of tape. Again, the wrong tape I'm using tonight, but isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. So cute. 
So we've got our card with the inside and our matching envelope as well. Done so easy. And then we've got our little, little trade box that we've done. Isn't that so cute? So easy. So in just a little bit over a half hour. So cute. These are so easy to do. Whenever you're doing a project, uh, if you want to do several at one time, you can always make it like an assembly line. So you're doing the same function at the same time. Um, that will make it easier to do. So let me flip my camera around if we can do that without hanging up on you and making myself and you dizzy. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I appreciate you being here. It was nice, nice to have people join in. Hey, Miss Shelby, nice to see you. Make sure you say hello, Shelby. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, and have a great evening. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.